Okay, everyone, we are in the next segment of this birthday special. We're in segment number 39, in which we are going to play Jeopardy for the PS2, and we're going to do a Tournament of Champions game. Let's see if I can win a bundle this game. So far in the birthday bank, we have achieved $1,915. So let's get that birthday bank growing even higher, shall we? Tournament of Champions. Each of you must be excellent players to have made it this far. So congratulations. And now, let's begin our game. We've got some really interesting first round categories for you today. Let's take a look. I'm ready. Okay. Nickname. Good category. Hmm. Coffee break. All right. Okay. Taking your cue. Interesting. The Revolutionary War. All right. World history. The final category is... All right. Fashion statements. Interesting categories. All right, let's get things underway, player one. Coffee break 200. This coffee company opened its first location at Seattle's Pike Place Market in 1971. What is Starbucks? Pick again. Coffee break 400. The name of this strong coffee is from the Italian for pressed. What is espresso? Correct. Let's take a uh, coffee break for 600. True Kona coffee is grown in the rich volcanic soil of this big island. What is Hawaii? Better get this one right. Right. Coffee break 800. Much of this sitcom takes place at a New York City coffee house called Central Perk. What is Friends? Correct. And uh, coffee break for a thousand, please. Answer? Daily Double. Daily Double. All right. Player one, please make your wager now. I think I will make it a true daily double, Alex. Here's the clue. The name of this Indonesian island is also a slang term for coffee. What is Java? Precisely. Let's take fashion statements for 200, please. When you praise someone highly, you take this off to him. What is your hat? Very good. You pick again. I'll take uh, fashion statements for 400, please. When you have a secret agenda, you have something up this, like a crafty conjurer. What is your sleeve? Very good. You pick Fashion again. statements for 600. Do this up, and you're putting on your finery. Do it down, and you're scolding someone. What is dress? Correct. Fashion statements for 800. To be discharged or dismissed is to get this piece of footwear. What is the boot? Fashion here. statements 1,000. Shirt feature term for a professional whose job generally doesn't involve manual labor. What is a white collar? Right you are. I'll take nicknames for 200, please. This nickname of Mrs. Gore comes from a song recorded by Jan August and the Harmonicats. What is Tipper? Correct. Pick 
Nick Nick means 400. The nickname of a Notre Dame star played by Ronald Reagan, it was later applied to Reagan himself. What is Dutch? No, sorry. Ah. What is the Gipper? Right. Oh, the Gipper. Okay. Okay, player three. World history for 200. In the 30s, the Burma Road was built to move supplies from Burma into this large Asian country. What is China? That's it. Um, World History 4. Player one, what'll it be now? Abbreviated the AFL, it was founded in Columbus, Ohio in 1886 by workers wanting an eight-hour day. What is the American Federal of Labor? American Federation of Labor? Yes. Um, World History for 600. In 1892, Dr. Washington Sheffield <laughs> first sold his cream toothpaste in a collapsible one of these. What's a tube? Correct. Picking World history for 800. As Empress of Japan in the 7th century, Suiko helped promote this religion at the expense of Shintoism. What is Zen Buddhism? Nice try, but that's incorrect. Foop. What is Buddhism? Correct. Just Buddhism. It's your turn, player three. The Revolutionary War for 200. These volunteers were so named because they were ready to fight at 60 seconds notice. Well, who are the Minutemen? Yes! Um, Revolutionary War 400. Player one, what'll it be now? Hanged as a spy on September 22nd, 1776, his body probably still lies somewhere in Midtown Manhattan. Who is uh, Nathan Hale? Very good. You pick Revolutionary War 600. About 8,000 British prisoners were taken in this last major battle of the war. What is the Battle of Yorktown? Very good. Player three, it's your turn. Taking your cue for 200. As this substance is denser than the human body, you may drown in it, but you won't sink. What's well, quicksand? You bet. Uh, I'm taking your cue 400. Player one, your turn. In the 1980s, the Supreme Court approved the use of these in hiring to remedy past discrimination. What are quotas? Exactly. Oh, okay. Your turn, player three. Nicknames for 600? Nickname of Jack, whose actions resulted in the 1888 resignation of Scotland Yard Commissioner Charles Warren. What is the Ripper? I'll take an uh, eight hundred one. You choose. Though Mets fans insist on Larry, this is the nickname of Atlanta Braves MVP Jones. What is Chipper? Hey, you got it. If you would, player three. Taking your cue for six hundred. For convicted British traitors of yore. This procedure followed drawing. What is quartering? Yes, indeed. Player three, you're still in control of the board. Taking your cue for 800. 
This Marquis, who wrote a set of boxing rules, also helped bring down Oscar Wilde. Who's Queensberry? Exactly. Taking your cue a thousand. Over to you, player one. Some of these objects are the size of one solar system, but brighter than a thousand galaxies. What are quasars? Very good. You pick again. Revolution War 800. This 1765 Act of Parliament called for taxes on such items as dice and playing cards. What was the Stamp Act? Oh, yeah. Exactly. It's your turn, Player 3. Nicknames for 1,000. Superstar Will Chamberlain was the big one. What is Dipper? Exactly. Um, Revolutionary War 1000. Player one, what'll it be now? Lord Frederick North was this king's chief minister throughout the American Revolution. Who was George III? That's it. And finishing off this round... He was U.S. envoy to China in 1974 and 1975. Here's your clue. Take a look. Be a major priority of my administration. Who is George Bush? Exactly. So I finished the Jeopardy round with $12,400. That's a good start. That's it for this round. Let's see how all our players are making out. Player one, you're on a fine start. Player three is 5,400. Player two, we have yet to hear from. Now it's time for the double Jeopardy round. And remember, dollar values double, and we have two daily doubles for you on this board. Let's begin. Let's see if you like these categories in the double Jeopardy round. All right. Street sense. All right. Theater. <laughs> you have a pet what? All right. Starts with the letters G U. Ah. World history. We get this category again. And rounding out, we have. All right. New York Times headlines. <laughs> Off we go, player two. Let's try street sense for 400. Hey, give me an I-5. I being short for this. What is interstate? Yes. Uh, street sense for 800. Player one, your turn. In the case of Piccadilly, it's one ring, not three ring. What's a circus? Yes! Street Sense 1200. Hey, bud, it's my way or this. What is the highway? Correct. Street Sense for 1600. A ring road surrounding an urban area. On a diet, you may have to tighten it a notch. What's a belt? Or what's a beltway? That's it. Street Sense 2000. Spanish for road. For Tennessee Williams, it was the real thing. What's a Camino?
Precisely. Pick again. New York Times headlines for 400, please. The November 25th, 1963 front page read, This man seen here shot to death in jail corridor by a Dallas citizen. Here's your clue. Take a look. Who is Lee Harvey Oswald? Correct. New York Times headlines 800. The revelation of undreamed of splendors was reported with the 1923 opening of this Egyptian king's inner tomb. Uh, who is King Tut? How about 1,200 for uh, New York Times headlines? On September 9, 1974, news fit to print included the pardon of this president and Knievel safe as rocket falls. Who's Richard Nixon? Right, pick again. New York Times headlines 1,600. The 1945 headline... Bomber hits this New York City skyscraper, seen here, meant a plane, not a person. Okay, here's the clue. What is the Empire State Building? Very good. New York Times at last 2000. Berlin reported him missing and insane when this Nazi flies to Scotland in May 1941. Who's Adolf Hitler? No, that's not right. Sorry. Foop. Who was Rudolf Hess? Oh. Yes. Okay. Player three, it's your turn. Starts with G-U for 400. It's any foolish or dull-witted person, not just Forrest. What's a gum? Hey, you're correct. Starts with GU 800. This edible fruit is full of vitamin C. What is... Edible fruit. What is guava? Right. Uh, starts with GU 12. A deep ravine, or the last name of a witchy neighbor in the Wizard of Oz. What is gulch? Daily Double! Daily Double! Player one, please make your wager now. Okay, here's the clue. Flaubert's first name. What is Gustave? Correct. Starts with GU2000. The other Daily Double! Player one, please make your wager now. Here's the clue. This Latin American country's longest river is the Motagua. What is Guatemala? Right you are. Theater for 400, please. Timon, Pumbaa, and Simba are all characters in this musical. What's the Lion King? Theater for four, or 800. Songs in this Disney musical include Belle, Be Our Guest, and Gaston. What is Beauty and the Beast? Yes! Uh, let's take theater for 1200, please. Nathan Lane and Matthew Broderick starred in this smash musical that was based on a Mel Brooks comedy. What's the producers? Very good. Theater for 1600. This long-running musical, based on a Victor Hugo novel, won eight Tony Awards in 1987. What is Les Miserables? Yes. Hey, you're still...
still up. Theater 2000. Andrew Lloyd Webber wrote the haunting music for this opera. What is the Phantom of the Opera? Very good. World history for 400. In 1934 and 1935, this Chinese communist leader led the Red Army on the long march. Who is Mao Zedong? You bet. Uh, World History 800. In 1826, this European low country established its first tea plantations on Java. What is the Netherlands? Right. Uh, World History for 1200, please. Before the Battle of Trafalgar, he told his fleet, England expects every man will do his duty. Who's Horatio Nelson? Right you are. Hey, you're still up, player one. World history for 1600. Stephen I, the son of a Magyar prince, became king of this country in 1000 AD. What is Hungary? That's it. A thousand, world, two thousand world history, I'm sorry. In 1920, the League of Nations gave this country a mandate to administer the territory of Namibia. What is South Africa? Hey, you're correct. You have a pet what for 400? The pot-bellied species of these can grow to over 100 pounds, others up to 1,000. What are pigs? Correct. Pick again. 800. The reticulated one of these snakes may live 20 years and grow to 30 feet. What is a rattlesnake? Regrettably, no. Foop. What is a python? Right, you are. Oh, a python. All right. Your choice, player two. You have a pet what for 1,200? This strutting bird, held sacred in India, makes a nice watchdog, uh, or what bird? Watch this. What is a peacock? Right you are. 1600. Player one, your turn. The African pygmy type of this is sold as a pet, the sonic one as a video game. What is a hedgehog? Well done, yes. The final answer on this board is... Medieval monks dined on these flat-tailed aquatic rodents, saying as fish, they could be eaten on fast days. What are beavers? Right. Oh, I wanted to say that, but I wasn't sure enough. And that brings us to the end of the Double Jeopardy round. Let's take a quick look at the scores. I have a lot of money. Exceptional. 105,600, player 2, 800, player 3, 9,400. It's Final Jeopardy time. Once I give you the category, you'll have a few seconds to decide on your wager. Alright. Brothers. Brothers. Go ahead, make your wager. Just to make it a nice, even round number, I'm going to do 94,400. Even if I'm wrong, I'll still have a lot of money left. Here's the final Jeopardy. Because I know player three is going to get it wrong. An empire began when Tom and Lewis Borders opened this type of store in Ann Arbor, Michigan in 1971. What is a bookstore? 
It's gonna be a $200,000 payday. Let's see if you got the right question. Your question, player two, was? You said, what is a bookstore? Lots at stake here, but your gamble has paid off. Well done. You bet it all, so you double your money to $1,600. Your question, player three, was? You said, what is an internet cafe? Ooh, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. How much did it cost you? It cost you all 9400 so you dropped to nothing. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Player one, what was your question? I said, what is a bookstore? Correct. What was your wager? So I wind up with $200,000 this game. You are all to be commended for your play. Hats off to our first place finisher. It's player one. And the birthday bank now stands at a million... $200,915. Thanks so much for playing Jeopardy. Bye for now. And I'll see you all for that next segment right after this. We'll be right back.